Winter Lookbook with my chic outfit ideas for 2021. Today I'll be sharing some of my favorite winter outfit ideas and the fashion tips I bear in mind when I put those looks together. Also, this video has very kindly been sponsored by Lily Silk. I have some of their beautiful cashmere and silk pieces to share with you a little bit later in this video. First, to outfit idea number one. When I'm looking for the perfect pair of tailored trousers, I have a few fashion tips that always spring to mind. Firstly, what are they made from? Is the fabric going to really last? Is the fit particularly on trend right now or is it a classic? And most importantly, is it flattering on my shape? If I'm answering yes to all of those questions, then I finally add to basket, which was definitely the case when I bought this pair from Cezanne recently. Made from 100% wool and slightly low-waisted, this pair have the perfect amount of slouch to feel on trend this winter, but not taking it so far that I couldn't imagine wearing them, say, in 10 years' time. I love the gentle pleat down the leg, and I opted for the charcoal, but they're also available in camel, black, and I currently have the navy in my shopping basket too. You let me know your thoughts on grey, actually, in the comments section below, as it's a tone that I seem to be reaching for more and more recently. Normally, I would say I go for quite warm tones, but I'm really enjoying styling something a little bit different. My winter lookbook wouldn't feel right without at least one beautiful blazer, or two for that matter. Bearing in mind it's absolutely freezing outside, I'm opting for my slightly thicker options at the moment to keep me nice and toasty. I'm really enjoying styling some of my wool blazers recently, as you might have seen on my daily outfit ideas over on Instagram. But I have to admit, a blazer outfit just generally has become my go-to look this season. It's the one piece in my wardrobe that has that instantly elevating effect, with this outfit idea being the perfect example. I could be working at home in my comfies and then suddenly remember I need to pop out. Just by adding a beautiful wall blazer over the top, I've turned a super chilled outfit into something a little bit more chic and sophisticated, and as you saw, with very little effort. But really, it's these sort of chic outfit ideas that have fast become my go-to. Mixing and matching my wool blazers with tailored trousers, leather trousers, jeans and beautiful knits, keeping things simple and polished, and hopefully just letting those lovely fabrics speak for themselves. Think about contrasting textures and tones, and try adding in scarves and even layering a coat over the top as well. There are literally hundreds of different ways to style a blazer. I don't think you'd ever regret having a really lovely option in your own wardrobe. It's a classic wardrobe essential for me that I reach for time and time again. So for that reason, it's worth saving my pennies for when the right one comes along. Which brings me to Lily Silk, who are kindly supporting this video and supporting this channel, and with this beautiful diamond knit turtleneck of theirs that I'm wearing. This has been made from 100% grade A cashmere, which is the creme de la creme of cashmere. It feels very light and buttery soft, while still being ridiculously cozy. It's just beautiful, to be honest and the joy of it having been made from such a luxurious yarn really makes it the standout piece in my outfit ideas. I tend to size up when it comes to gorgeous snuggly knitwear. I like the fit to feel loose and relaxed, and I'll no doubt be layering at least a t-shirt underneath, so I want to make sure that there's room to do so. All of Lily Silk's pieces are made from natural fibres, rather than anything synthetic. And like their grade A cashmere, their silks are made from the finest 6A mulberry silk. And despite all that quality, they still manage to keep their prices fair and reasonable. Talking of mulberry silk, I then opted for this beautiful pair of wide leg trousers. I actually already have their jogger style silk trousers, which I wore on repeat throughout summer. But for winter, I wanted something a little bit looser, something with lots of lovely movement as you walk, which these are absolutely doing. Now with a lovely pair of silk trousers, the obvious outfit idea is to dress them up a bit. And though I do like them styled like that, I think I like them even more dressed down a bit like this. It suits the reality of my lifestyle, and knowing that I can wear them casually like this while still feeling chic and elevated means I will reach for them so much more. When it comes to shirts and blouses, I try and look out for something just a little bit different 
like with this version that I got from Lily Silk. The real standout for me with this one is of course that fabric. It drapes beautifully and is so incredibly soft to wear. And I also think the neutral tone of this silk is going to blend into my outfit ideas really seamlessly. This is how everything arrives from Lily Silk in these lovely gift boxes. And this is the last piece that I chose from them, which is actually a bra. It's a bit of a random swerve, I know, but when you find a super comfy one that goes under just about everything, it's definitely worth shouting about. It's been made from a blend of silk, which feels incredibly luxurious against my skin, as you can imagine. The texture is really smooth under outfit ideas, and obviously being flesh colored, it's really ideal to wear under white or cream blouses too. In fact, that's something that I get asked a lot. What do I wear under all those white and cream blouses? And it's these sort of bras that I reach for. I find them ridiculously comfy, which is what it's all about. And on top of that, you can't see anything underneath, so they work perfectly. So a big thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video and sending me some beautiful pieces for my wardrobe. I've linked to their website in the description box below, and there's also a 15% off discount code there too. I think it's fair to say I am a big lover of jeans and there's no reason that those outfits can't look chic and elevated too. It's just a matter of how you style it that counts. When I'm particularly wanting to feel a bit more polished, I'll often take a bit of a high-low approach with mine. I styled a similar outfit idea to this on Instagram a couple of weeks ago actually, and I think it really works. These jeans are pretty slouchy and a little bit distressed, but the addition of the striped top adds a little Parisian chic to it. And layered with my blazer to finish, it gives a high to the jeans low. And I have to say, I do find these kind of outfits incredibly comfortable to wear and really versatile too for different occasions. And it doesn't have to be a blazer either. Just think about adding something more luxurious into the mix. Like this outfit idea. My jeans are still pretty slouchy and chilled, but the jumper with that lovely yarn and texture really stands out. And I think those belly flats give it a touch of cuteness at the same time. So do have a think about adding in something more luxurious when you're wearing your laid back and super slouchy jeans. It will more than likely leave you feeling very effortlessly chic and polished. Now, while I don't think you need to look far, I would advise having a really good shop around for the highest quality shirts and blouses that you can find that are within budget. I'd recommend places like Arquette and Cos for cottons, Lily Silk, Cezanne and Everlane for silks, and in summer and other stories always have beautiful linens too. I generally size up when buying a beautiful shirt, unless it's already listed as oversized and particularly with longer sleeves for winter outfits. I just hate a shirt to feel like it's pulling when I reach my arms up, you know, that kind of stretch that you get across the back. And it really bugs me if it's too short as well and then it just rides up out of your trousers every time you move. So to counter all of that and for an all round comfier fit, I do tend to go a little bit bigger. I try to look out for those small details that make a shirt or blouse feel that extra bit special. Now that could be down to the fabric content or something more visual like covered buttons or perhaps a gentle gathered shoulder. It's about the small things that are often overlooked that really make a piece stand out for me. Now I do harp on about camel coats, I know. So much so that I worry I'm gonna bore you to tears with my love for them. So instead, in this section, I thought I would widen the net and just say that having some sort of camel tone in your wardrobe can be really helpful for your outfit ideas this winter. That shade just screams autumn. It's elegant, luxurious, and I honestly find it really hard to resist. And if, like me, the base of your wardrobe is pretty neutral, Camel tones will mix and match with pretty much everything. Keep an eye out for beautiful knitwear in lovely shades of brown, and don't worry if your shades don't match perfectly. I actually think a few different tones gives an outfit more depth and interest. Camel will go with whites, beiges, winter green, navy. Black is normally not a favorite combination of mine, but it does work, and I love camel with greys or soft pinks. If you don't already have a camel coat, Think about the idea of introducing the shade with a pair of trousers instead. Following the fashion trends this autumn winter, I would probably advise loose and pleated, but you could go with straight or capri pants if you prefer. I do like following the fashion trends, but ultimately what I like and what I think suits me comes first.
I do love a winter white outfit. So I had to sneak at least one, possibly two, into this lookbook. Yes, you need to be careful around small children with sticky fingers, or wet dogs, or just eating food for that matter. But the elegant and luxurious and elevated outfits you can create with winter whites far exceeds the downsides. You simply add a beige, accru or winter white coat over the top of an outfit, which will give a nod to the look. And the nature of a lovely wool coat means that that tends to be the star of the show anyhow. Or you could take inspiration from this outfit idea where I've gone head to toe winter whites. This is my favorite dress I've bought all seasons. So I'm certainly not gonna be letting the fact that it's got no sleeves put me off wearing it for winter. Simply adding an oversized jumper or a cardigan over the top, flats if you wish, or knee-high boots for more warmth, and voila, you've got your winter white outfit right there. Whichever way you decide to introduce a sprinkle of white in your outfit ideas will work, but it's certainly become one of my go-to looks this season. Thank you so much for watching my winter lookbook and chic outfit ideas for 2021. I really hope all those many outfit ideas have given you lots of inspiration. And don't forget to let me know your favorites in the comments section below. Thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to have a browse of their collection, which I have linked in the description box below, along with that discount code. Have a great week, everyone. I will see you next Sunday. Take care.